We're going to try to meet the challenges of growth together, and we're going to always remember why we want growth in the first place, to build the very best province in the country, the province that we knew it could always be. Saskatchewan is a province full of opportunity. It's a place where families can live, people can work, and everyone can play. As a leader in economic growth, the lowest unemployment in the nation, and the place the world turns to for food, fuel, and fertilizer, Saskatchewan has become an export superpower. Fueling our future is Saskatchewan's transportation network. The first road network in Saskatchewan was aimed at giving access to the thousands of family farms that had been created. The transportation network that has evolved since then is the fuel that keeps Saskatchewan's economy growing. Welcome to Saskatchewan's transportation system in the 21st century. We have more roads per capita than anywhere else in Canada. There are over 26,000 kilometers of provincial highways, including 279 kilometers of northern ice roads. Add to that, the Ministry of Highways and Infrastructure looks after 17 northern airports, a vital resource in the north, regulates 2,000 kilometers of commercial short-line railway, plus operates 12 ferries and one barge. Our province is growing. We have more people on the roads um, every day, more than we've ever seen before in our province. We've hit historical population numbers. We're also an export-based province. Uh, we have commodities that go out to market. We're landlocked, so our roads are very important. It's how we get things to port. And uh, it's also important to make sure that those who are in the trucking industry and private citizens are safe. And our transportation system is key to all of those things. Today, Saskatchewan's road network has helped make us an export leader. We are the largest producer of potash in the world, one of Canada's leaders in agricultural trade, provide 15% of the world's uranium, and one of the world's largest exporters of dried peas, mustard, and lentils. To maintain our status as an export powerhouse, we will require Saskatchewan's transportation system to continually evolve. Since 2008, more than $4.3 billion has been invested. The largest transportation infrastructure project in our history, the Regina Bypass Project, is currently in the planning stages. This will help to meet the future needs of Saskatchewan's inland port, the global transportation hub. This is one of the very best growth stories in a province that has a lot of growth stories to offer these days. This is one of the most important economic development stories today in Western Canada. The road we have taken has required vision, effort, time and money. But the trip is only just beginning. Today we believe in growth. Today we are actually planning for growth. Today growth is informing public policy development and planning in Saskatchewan. 